aoemediaand.de are yearly sponsors. Thanks for your generosity, guys. Okay. Um, hello. We are reporting live from the Typo 3 Developer Days 2010 in the great place in Elmshorn. Um, beautiful nature. Today I'm here with uh, Mattis, and he likes to show me um, just what you can actually do with uh, with um, menus in TypeScript, basically with no extensions, nothing really fancy. Out of the box, it. possible. Just, just basic stuff. Okay. To try at home and uh, have fun with it. Okay. All right. Perfect so, uh, task for the World Cup. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Goes, goes by fast. So what you see here is basically um, just a normal content column. I didn't have time to set up a layout. Can you see something with the flashy stuff? And um, the main idea is that um, we have a content element of type text and uh, another one below. And in the middle, we have like three teasers. Mm -hmm. And um, there are a lot of extensions popping up on the TER, which are just, you know, like you can display three teasers, four teasers, 10 teasers, whatever. And I don't really think we need these things because it can all be done out of the box. And it's much more flexible um, the way that uh, I wanted to show you. So in this case, we just have three teasers side by side. And um, if you take a look at the back end, there's these three content elements. Okay. And the middle one is of the type sitemap. Okay. And um, what I did, I just uh, recycled the menu type uh, menu of these pages. Okay. So you see it's just a normal menu and sitemap. And select three pages from our page tree over here. And then we just utilize TypeScript to rebuild it into this, including images and a short text and, uh, and the more links and stuff. And does it go? Like that, out of the box, or do I have um, to do something? You have to uh, write a little type of script. It's okay. not too much of code. I'm going to show this right here. So um, I have to create a in te in template record on that At same page? Okay. Not necessarily on the same page, because it, it, it's, it's a content element. You can simply recycle it the way you want it to. Okay. Anyways, so what I did that, as you can see here on line 9, we simply erase the defaults that comes with uh, an SO CSS style content. Okay. Um, we simply um, clear all the old definitions and then start to uh, set up a new, basically just a hierarchical menu. Okay. And um, we use the special type list, okay. which you normally use to, uh, to just add three UIDs of pages in it. To a menu. Okay. Exactly. And we use the special value field pages, which is nothing more than um, what you can see uh, when you're on the wrong page. Give me a second which is this field. It's called starting point, but in the database, it's called pages. Okay. And it's there on any sitemap record. Mm -hmm. And if we simply get back to the TypeScript, you'll see what we do. So these three lines, uh, the H menu, the special list, and the special value uh, line simply uh, fills the menu with the, with the pages from that field that we okay. put in. Then what we do, we're just setting up a normal T menu, uh, wrap it in a teaser box div with a clearing div. This depends on your layout, of course. Um, and then what we do, we use one dot no for the normal menu state mm -hmm. and declare do not show link. This okay. will result in having no link at all. So okay. if you try to debug this after line 16, you will simply get nothing, which is totally fine. Um, and in the next step, um, we use the before C object, which was uh, used by Casper to display sh small icons in times before we had CSS to uh, style okay. things like these. And we use a content object array. And from that point on, we're very flexible about what we do. So first off, we wrap the whole thing in a, in a, a single div class, mm -hmm. or in, in a div with a, with a special CSS class. And um, as you can see on line 20, we open up a text object and get the, tit uh, the, the title field from the pages table. Yeah. Because as long as you're in a menu, you're always in the context of pages. Okay. Um, we wrap that in an H1 tag. Next one might be interesting because at that, one, uh, that point, we're getting the image. So from the media field of that page. This is defined in, in, okay. in lines 24 uh, through 26. So we simply say uh, import from the field media, the path is uploads media, and list num zero basically says Start take, from zero. take the first picture, correct. Then we simply size it to 150 pixels and crop it. Yeah. Um, we also That's the C the at the end? Yeah, right. Ah, new so, to me. So cool. 
Yeah, learn something. Lesson learned. Great. So um, the, the basic idea is that you can uh, crop the images and um, have, have them display at the same point, whether it's portrait or landscape, it's no problem. Then we take uh, the abstract field from the, uh, from the metadata mm -hmm. uh, tab on the pages record. And finally, we simply set up the read more link and typo link it with the parameter from the field UID, which will then link to the, to the respective pages. Cool. And uh, then, of course, we just wrap it so that we can style it and align it in place. Yeah. And, um, and exactly that is what we need for the relaunch of TypeScript.org today. So, help me totally to, to see that. It's... <laughs> Truly. <laughs> really. It's the, I can help if you want. I got time anyways. So, um, if you take a look at the, at the, um, at the page properties, you have uh, the general tab with the page title. You can, of course, also use the subtitle field or basically any field that you like. Um, the metadata fields will hold the uh, abstract, the short abstract text yeah. right here. Um, and under and could I crop that even, just with the usual cropping function? Um, that, that I say, okay, my abstract is I don't know. Uh, editor created five thousand words in there, and, and it's too long. So you want something like. Um, Ah, great, doesn't work on Safari. Give me a second. Yeah. I'm not sure about the syntax. It might work, it might not. But, uh, okay, it works. So, cool. um, yes, you can. Um, and uh, another good thing about this is, imagine that you have uh, certain departments working on parts of the website. So, um, and you have the teaser box on the home page of the website. Mm -hmm. You don't have to grant the editors access to change these texts or images because they are linked with the pages within their sections within the website. So it's much more flexible than allowing every editor to get to the start page yeah. and from there on basically work on any point of the Fully website. Fully agree. So that's basically it. Like I told you, it's like World Cup time. Very, very <laughs> cool. Helps a lot. And you will see that on tablesfree.org used. <laughs> To, to generate the structure of the submenus. And will it be possible to download um, this script somewhere from your company website, for example? Um, or, I, I, don't know? I think I could just make a blog post on, uh, oh, on bus.typo3.org. Cool. Yeah. I think it's and more just fitting there. Put the, the URL over here, up there. Somewhere. And people could download it so they don't have to write it themselves. Cool. Amazing stuff. Thank You're you welcome. very much. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Thank you.